Yo, what's up guys, Draw Boogle here, and we got weak and mildly acidic, and this subchapter I'm probably gonna do it all in one go in this one video and save Mina for a separate video. And I think I still have some of these videos still up. I think half of them got taken down for copyright, but some of them are still up, so I do remember these levels very clearly. So we're gonna try to speed through this whole subchapter and see how far we can get. I'm pretty sure we're gonna sweep through all of these levels. I mean, everything before Mina is pretty easy. The difficulty really starts going up right after Mina, so here we go with this damn. This is a spam level if I've ever seen one. If you were having trouble with, what's it called, Gestalt Decay, then this level is gonna be a pain for you. Oh snap, and here come the next wave of enemies, and of course, has to be the damn shadow boxers paired with the reindeers. This is gonna be the ultimate spam. And of course, there's that one metal enemy there to make things even worse. And we have no bomber for those shadow boxers. It's gonna be kind of risky trying to stall them without bomber. And of course, if we don't get that crit hit on that rhino, and we did get it clutch clutch. And here comes the more spam. Look at the, how many reindeers are stacked up. A Madrasu would sweep this level very, very heavily, but you know, we got Paris camera. It's from Catasaurus. And oh, okay. That might be a bit of a problem. I didn't remember about these damn shockwave pigs. Well, hopefully. Our Paris stack is enough to get them down quick enough so they don't do too much damage. If you're looking for a fun stage, this is definitely one, probably the most iconic spam stage in SOL. It's this one right here. We sweep that pretty hard with that Paris stack and camera stack and the Catasaurus crit talents are just too amazing. So we swept this pretty hard and Jurenderwolf did come in clutch. And I do remember the next level, it is Knights of the Realm. And for some reason, out of all the videos I posted out of that time period, Knights of the Round got like 100k views. I do not know why to this day. Maybe it was the metal face or even the thumbnail, I have no idea. But this one level got the weird spike in views and people wanted to see what this level was with all these heads. And this level is gonna be a pretty big joke since we do have Fishman and of course the guaranteed crit unit, the Neneko. And we could have used Waitress as well, but hey, why not use Neneko for once if I don't use it at all? Because Waitress does come in clutch later in the game too. But use Neneko while you can, and that's what we're doing. We also got Macho Legs there just for some nice damage. Fishman's probably just gonna carry though. Shy Boy is down and that's the cue. The metal head is gonna come up. There he is. Now we just gotta wait for him to wave and then we can learn. Mm -hmm. and wait, hold up. How the hell did that Fishman survive? Hold on just a second here. He survived the wave or he got in like the perfect knockback animation and dodged that wave somehow. I do not know if he can survive that wave. I highly doubt it. Now it's just time to murder. If you don't kill that head in the back fast enough, there are going to be more metal faces that come out. That is a huge, huge reason we brought MKD just for the survivability and extra DPS in case that happens right there. When our Bahamut is dead and we start running low on cash, we can just chill out and rely on MKD's DPS. Well, this is taking an unexpected amount of time. The metal faces are probably going to come out any second. The dragon stack is still alive there and it's getting pretty decent. But that fishman cycle is slowly chipping down this head. He does have a lot of health, but if Bahama is recharged, I might just save up for that. Go for the last resort. Oh, okay. Fishman coming in clutch with the final blow. Now we gotta take down this base as fast as possible so those damn metal heads don't come out. And the next level is Cat Catharsis or something like that. And I think it's the one... No, it is. It definitely is the one with the two Coreys and the Meandums. Pretty easy level, really. 
nothing too exciting but there are some exciting levels near the end of this subchapter. I'm gonna make a lineup and we'll hop straight into that level. Here it is Cat Catharsis and we do have a lineup ready for this level. Pretty easy, nothing too crazy. Of course it's just the Koi boy there, three Neandums and a whole bunch of luring. That's pretty much it. It's a pretty small level size so if you do not take care of the Koi's fast enough you are in big trouble but luckily we do have level 30 Manix and you should have at least level 25 to 30 crazy cats by this point. If you don't, you did probably rush just a little bit, but it won't be too difficult since I'm guessing you'll bring better gacha units other than this lineup that we have here. And this quarry is getting shredded pretty hard because of those level 30 manic islands and they're doing quite a number on him and he's down already. And we have some free damage opportunity right now, so we'll get the most out of it. There's the alien Yandam, and here comes the damn Berserkery. Luckily there's no Brawlos in this level, so it's going to be super super easy. It's just <laughs> spam of whales, Jamera, and the Macho Cat every now and then, and we're safe. There have been lots of Berserkeries in these past two or three chapters, and do not know why, but hey, maybe it did release during this time period and they kind of abused it because everyone knows how Cancer Cory was to deal with and they just had to make a red one with <laughs> so many damn shockwaves and in this level size where the shockwaves are guaranteed to hit everything and the Neandums in the back are just chilling there slowly approaching your base in this small level size it does make it intimidating but if you have the right units, this is stupidly easy. I mean, iCat can probably destroy this stage. Seafair can destroy this stage. Lots of units can completely demolish this stage. So pretty easy. And he got sniped out of existence already. Now it's just going to be a back and forth battle between this damn Yandem and a Bahamut Cycling and other stuff for the fifth time. Very easy level and nothing too exciting to see here, so the next level is the very interesting one and it's a very tricky one too, I'm pretty sure the name is Beautiful Finale or something like that. It is a very tricky one without wave blockers and of course we're gonna attempt it without wave blockers, you already know we're gonna do it without that. Now on to the next part and it's probably this one. Well not this one, the next one, and there's one more, and then it's Mina. And like I said in the beginning of the video, we are going to save Mina for a separate whole guide, so do not expect Mina in this video. And here we go, the level is here, and I think we got a proper lineup. It's a pretty decent lineup, hopefully it does work out, because I do not remember exactly everything in this level but okay now I do remember yep this lineup is not gonna work out so let's get a proper lineup Yeet. and here it is the ultimate lineup for this level we do have strong up and of course the defense up combo because we will definitely need it because I did remember not only are these pigeon the wave enemies but it's also the two cans and yes the cancer is from dark web this is a very weird level and it's similar in a weird way, so we're gonna bring that. Seafair is there for survivability and for great damage as well. And of course we got Manic Jam, since there is a Sunfish Jones in this level as well. I do not remember the peons however, and okay, there they are, they came out real quick. Great, and of course it's Brawlos, and I thought it was Dark Doges, but it's the Gabriels instead, so... It's going to be quite a difficult battle here. Probably not difficult, but just tricky. This is a very weird level since there's luring and the Brawlos just work against that. And with the whole Toucan waves and Sunfish Jones in the back there, it's pretty tricky. And yes, we could have used Octo, we could have used Pizza, we could have even used Little Valk in this situation, but 
you know we gotta go with the more challenging lineup. It's always more fun that way and you should try it sometime. <laughs> Though it will drain your energy trying to find these strategies if you haven't done these levels before. But luckily I've done these levels before so I kinda have an idea on how to do them and how to properly make a lineup and adjust. Though Manic Jam at level 30 is doing a lot of work right now. So even thinking about bringing Octo in this level was kind of overkill but hey can't speak too soon because this is a very risky luring level. If Toucan gets those waves off and we aren't able to knock back then it's a pretty big yikes and with that thing just chilling there, that damn thing there, yes that thing from Into the Future 1 it's pretty annoying and yikes, this is a bad situation right now. Two of them stacked up, multiple waves, I do not know if we're gonna survive this. This is a very tricky level without Octo, but hopefully we can pull through. No, no, I do no, not see no, it happening no. though. No, we might just be able to clutch this one because one of them has skip. to be low. Yes, it does go Mira out and it's Aura Aura time dead for you boy it is over now because we just got the comeback and it's easy sweep from there <laughs> watch me die right here you gotta push back that sunfish jones because i think he is hitting the base and the base health is pretty low and oh no toucan oh my we knocked him back okay we're getting pretty lucky with those knockbacks i don't know if it's just our attacks are connecting and he goes down we're safe we are safe now because there's no way we can lose a level now. We are good. Got a Bahamut out, timed it wrong, but it doesn't matter because it's over now. That was a pretty sick comeback. It was close, very close, but we have pulled through in the end. And next is the last level and then it's Mina after that. So next level is the last level of this video. And it's pretty underwhelming. They should have made this the level before Mina, but they decided to switch it around for some reason. Because the next level is pretty underwhelming. It's just a bunch of bun buns, and that's pretty much it. So, Sanzo carry for the win. Down goes Sunfish Jones, and that's pretty much it for the level now. Now, let's hop into the next one, the finale of this video. No more bad dreams, the quadruple bun bun level, it's very easy though, it does sound intimidating but it is super super easy. And here we go, what a way to end off the video in a chill soothing way, getting ready for that hype mina guide, and I'm sure I'm probably gonna have the manic guides done by now, so keep an eye out for those when this video does go up, probably after the mina video. And I don't know what I have planned as of now, as of currently making this video. But I'm sure the future me has released a schedule for the videos to come already. And if there are some stuff before the Manic Guides, expect to see those. And then soon after, it will finally be time for the damn Manic Guides. The hype is getting real because we are nearing the end of this whole manic guide saga on this channel but yeah let me guys know what you think about this sub chapter it was pretty entertaining it does get more entertaining as SOL goes on stuff gets more difficult and that's just what we need for that perfect entertainment because more difficulty does include more entertainment even though it can be a pain sometimes coming up with a strategy but of course they had to put this chill level right after the level we previously did, beautiful for now. Though I do still think this should be, this level would be switched with beautiful for now. So no more bad dreams, pretty mediocre level like Sanzo, Cameraman Carry. Don't even need your under roll for Bahamut. I mean Dragon's just there because he's just there and Sanzo and Cameraman will just carry the rest. Now there is one situation that could happen if we do get super super unlucky. It's when that symbiote bun comes out. If he gets a couple waves or many waves in a row 
that can be kind of an issue because we might be low on cash. No Sanzo equals no Bahamut Slowproc. No Bahamut Slowproc equals dead to the cat base. So hopefully we do not get waved like three times in a row and epically fail this level. Well, it's been a good two minutes. We're still at the same spot. Nothing too exciting going on. We got your own wolf there and we killed another Bun Bun. So it should be easy. Oh, there's a wave right there. Yikes, hopefully he doesn't wave again. Oh, it's not a problem because camera. I forgot camera has to survive a lethal strike ability. So even if he does wave, cameraman will come in clutch, definitely. And I'm pretty sure Sanzo also has a survive a lethal strike talent. So if we can get that, that would be pretty nice. Wow, Symbio Bun going down before the Black Bun, so that's pretty interesting. But that gives us the perfect opportunity for a Bahamut to just demolish. And there we go, weak and mildly acidic, semi-completed. I'm pretty sure by the time I upload this video, I'll have the Mina Guide edited, all the Mana Guides edited pretty much everything ready and it's just gonna be the waiting game after that so pretty hype actually a super hype stuff is coming up so make sure you are ready the perfect way to get ready is of course to subscribe and hit the damn bell join the hashtag Google gang and there is the Mina video coming soon there's the level right there and I'll record this right after I finish recording this video right here so expect that soon but yeah that's it guys drop a like if you did enjoy the video subscribe if you do join the hashtag boogle game and many exciting videos to come it's been john boogle and see ya